oh twin flames and welcome to the dm to the f message for sunday so we're going to use the messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine today by the enchanting empress of white oracle and tarot this is a beautiful deck and i love this because it's based around the film the queen of the damned and that's always been one of my kind of favorite book series by Anne Rice. So really lovely deck. And there's also a lot of karmic cards in here too. So it kind of tells you what's going on behind the scenes with the karmic situation, as well as the way that they want to show you love and express their love to you. So let's see what we need to know. So thank you, angels. What does the masculine want to express to the feminine today? Wow, quite a few cards come out that one at the back too. So this is what he wants to say. And this is the order he wants to say. It. So he's saying to you, I want us to start afresh, a new beginning. I'm looking forward to the happy future that we're going to have together. So, I mean, this is just repetitive. All the time, the same message, because this is absolutely how he feels. And this is the energy he's moving into. He's making bold moves now. He's getting aligned with the universe he's understanding who he is and what he wants and he's working things out and he's saying to you i want a new beginning i want to start afresh can we wipe the slate clean forgive each other move on from it and begin again and he's excited i'm looking forward to this happy future and we're gonna have that together so that's the energy he's in and he, that's the first message and it's very important because when i pick the cards up i know a lot of cards have come out he's saying this is the order they need to come out and he's saying this to you regardless of what else comes out here regardless of what's going on with the karmic partner or in the physical world he's saying to you i want us to start afresh I want a new beginning and I'm looking forward to the happy future that we are going to have together. Not with me and someone else or me and them, me and you are going to have a happy future together. And that's so powerful. He's saying, there's something I want to tell you, but I don't know how you're going to react. Now, this is really interesting because I really feel today this energy around the masculines where they are releasing all their burdens and struggles to be able to communicate to you, to open up to you, to move this forward. And feminine, there's a lot of healing around you today to keep you strong and motivated to carry on. So he's saying to you, I've got something to tell you. Now, I feel that something he wants to tell you is good news, but he may not be sure how you're going to react because he may still be in fear about it. He may be thinking, oh, you're going to reject me or... You know, are you going to accept me? Are you going to give me the time I need to make the changes I need to make? I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. So there's a little bit of apprehension there. But that isn't going to stop him from making his move. He's saying, I'm so angry at myself for all the hurtful things I said to you that day. So there may be a specific day or night or, you know, kind of date that he hurt you on or he hurt you with the things he said or the things he did or maybe the things he didn't say or do on that day so he's thinking about that and he's in pain he's sorry you know and it drives him mad it makes him very angry and frustrated and you know paranoid because he doesn't want to do it again he doesn't want to hurt you again he doesn't want to let you down and he's making you aware of that so it's very clear you know he's releasing things so we can start again and rebuild this connection you know rebuild it and make it into what it needs to be i'm in planning mode right now there's a lot i have to do before i can walk away from this toxic karmic now i love that we've got the number 20 there because i'm really feeling that you know since 2020 he's really been forced by society and the pandemic and everything else to wake up you know, in 2020, we had to stay at home. We were locked down. There was restrictions. You know, a lot of the masculines realized what, you know, just how toxic their lives are. You know, if they were forced to work from home and be around their karmic partner, they were realizing that. So he's saying, what I'm in right now, my karmic situation is toxic to me. And I'm in planning mode. And he's been planning to leave and move on since 2020. But the timing hasn't been right because of restrictions and lockdowns and things going on. And now things are aligning beautifully and perfectly to bring you guys together. 
So he said, I'm in planning mode. There's a lot I have to do before I can walk away from this toxic karmic. So I feel what he's going to say here is, there's something I want to tell you, but I don't know how you're going to react. He's saying, you know, there's things I have to do before I walk away from this karmic partner. So I feel he may ask you to be patient with him or to trust him or to give it a bit of time. And he's worried how you're going to react because you might think, well, haven't I give you enough? Haven't I give you enough time? Haven't that hasn't this journey taken enough time? But do you know what? The time will pass anyway. It's worth the wait. As a twin flame in union, hand on heart, I can tell you that. It's worth the wait. It's worth it. So if he needs time to release himself, give it more time. He's saying, I'm hearing songs and seeing synchronicities and signs of you everywhere I go. And that's the number three. So he's being reminded of you and that's giving him faith. It's given him strength and power to do what he needs to do, to make the changes, to carry on. And he's hearing songs about you. And, you know, you guys are constantly communicating through music anyway. And he's seen synchronicities. These could be number sequences, could be your name. It could be something connected with your connection. And he's seen you everywhere he goes. And they give me fear. And I feel like any time he goes into fear, or he feels like he's struggling and he can't go on. He sees something big and huge that reminds him of you and it blows him away. And he's like, yes, this connection is real. And he starts to have faith. He starts to believe and understand and know. I'm doing my shadow work. And I love this. We've got 33 and 3. So I feel you may see the number 333. And the number 20 as well about 2020 where he's been gaining clarity since then. 2020 vision and understanding of his truth i'm doing my shadow work but i'm having a tough time letting go of my ego please send me your love and light so if you start seeing the number 333 or 333 send him love and as i said it we've got that white orb there flicking around so you know that's the angel so when you send him love he feels it he may also be seeing orbs he may be seeing lights things that blow his mind and He's saying this karmic verbally and emotionally abuses me, abuses me, and I'm reaching my breaking point. And what he's saying, they give me the word amuses, okay? So it used to hurt him and upset him, and now it just amuses him. He finds the whole situation ridiculous and funny at the same time. So he's looking at the karmic partner, and, you know, he's just amused by the whole thing. He thinks, you know, really? You know, here we go again, really. So the karmic partner or his karmic situation, remember, it's not always a partner. It could be his own insecurity and doubt and fear, you know, that's verbally abusing him. It could be his boss. It could be a family member. It could be a toxic friend. There's something that's creating toxic energy in, around him. And he's saying, I'm reaching breaking point. So he's saying, I'm about to explode with this. And this is why at the beginning he wanted you to know very clearly that he wants to start afresh because he's been through hell. And he knows you have too. And he knows that he's caused a lot of that in your life. But he's willing to, you know, apologise and make it right. He's saying, my friends and family don't approve of you, but I don't care what they think anymore. So it may not even be, they may not even know who you are, you know. It may be that his friends and family want him to stay with his karmic partner. His friends and family don't want him to change, want him to remain stuck or stagnant in his life. And they don't approve of you because you're his light. So this doesn't mean that they know who you are and they're like ridiculing you or saying nasty things about you. It means they don't approve of anyone that's changing him. You know, and he really is changing himself, but you're that guide. And he said, I don't care anymore. And I'm starting to communicate with you in your dreams and in the 5D. Can you hear me? So he's letting you know he's talking to you in many, many ways. You know, he's talking to you through, you know, this powerful... 5d cosmic connection that you guys share and he's saying i can feel your love and he's asking for you to send him love and now he's saying i can feel your love and i feel your energy surrounding me and sometimes i appreciate you wanting to do that for me thank you thank you so he's saying i appreciate it you know and sometimes all the time he appreciates you but sometimes he really feels that way and he's saying, lately I've been fantasizing about kissing you. I miss doing that with you, among other things. So 
you know, there's that energy again about being with each other, kissing each other, the fantasy. And remember, you know, I shared that DM to the F18 Plus the other night where he's embarrassed and he was telling you exactly what he wanted to do to you in the 5D. And if you haven't watched that or you're new to this channel today, go and watch that reading. It's in the playlist. You'll see the thumbnail of lots of pink balloons and a man with his head through it because he's embarrassed because... He does fantasize about you, and I won't go into detail, but you need to watch that reading. So he's saying, my ears have been ringing a lot lately. Are you the one who's thinking of me? So he's letting you know that his chakras are awakening. You know, he's awakening, his ears are ringing, he's, he's t you know, he's got his spider senses are tingling, he feels you, and he feels you so powerfully, and that guides him and gives him faith to know this is real. Even in the dark times, the sun just went in. So it went a bit darker in the room. So when he goes through the dark times, he hears you. He hears you in songs. He hears your, your voice speaking to him telepathically, communicating with him. He feels you. But the most important thing to know is regardless of what's going on, he's saying to you, I want to start afresh. I want us to have a new beginning and I'm looking forward to the happy future that we're going to have together. So trust the journey. He loves you. He wants you to know he loves you and he wants you to know that you matter and that he does care. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.